Hi everyone, I'd like to show you today how to build a simple interactive CLI app that uses OpenAI's Agent SDK powered by MCP servers. This is the application that we're gonna build. Under the hood, it's using an agent that is connected to both the GitHub MCP server and Neo4j Cypher MCP server, which itself is connected to a hosted graph database. Okay, I'm gonna start easy. Just gonna ask how many repos do I have? Hundred fifty three repositories. Great. Now I want to see if it interfaces with the database. How many records do I have? And I really only have one. We can see here in my database, I have a single record that I created for myself. Great. So this agent is able to communicate with both agents. I'm going to create a new project and we'll call this, what are we calling this? Or we'll call it open AI agents with MCP. Go into this folder, UV init. UV is a virtual environment and dependency manager. Okay, so here I'm gonna add two packages. I'm gonna add OpenAI's agents, SDK. And then also I'm just gonna bring in python.env uh, for loading up environment variables. Great, all loaded. Let's open this up in cursor. So the first thing we wanna add is a .env file. I'm gonna put in these variables here. So we're gonna need a OpenAI API key. Here I'm just gonna define what model we'll use so I can change it quickly here. We'll need a GitHub personal access token and then Neo4j credentials. So both of these you get when you first set up a new database and this can be done through your GitHub um, account profile. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to uh, kind of copy and paste some uh, existing code that I have working so that I'm not having to fight with the, uh, the IDE uh, auto correction all the time. So here we're gonna replace the main file with this. So here we've got our import statements that we need. This first example, I'm just gonna use the MCP server standard in out, uh, but do know that there are two other classes specifically for SSE and streamable HTTP. And then I've got a main async main file. We're gonna use the MCP server standard in out as a context manager. And here you can see it takes named parameters. Here we've got one configuration for a cache tools list. This is, as it sounds, it's going to cache the list of available tools so that it doesn't have to ping the server uh, every time it runs for them. And then we're gonna pass in parameters. These parameters are basically the same as what you would find in your readme file for MCP server configurations. So this one is for Neo4j Cypher MCP server. It could literally copy all this and then paste it right here. Look correct, yep. Okay, so once the server standard in and out uh, has been, context manager has been spun up and you have a server, then next thing you wanna do is create an agent. I do recommend a good descriptive name. So I'll showcase tra tracing later. So OpenAI's uh, agent SDK automatically has tracing enabled by default. So you can go and look through the tracing logs to see the MCP calls that it makes. Okay, so instructions, I just want it to interface with a Neo4j database. So it's just going to know to make use of the, the read write tools here and then passing in the server as uh, one of the arguments for MCP servers. Now notice that you'll be able to put in multiple servers, um, but here we're just setting up one for the time being. So pass it a list with that single server and then defining which model I want to use. In this case, um, back in the ENV file, I'm just using OpenAI's GPT-4 mini or GPT-4 Nano. Here, uh, creating an interactive loop so that I don't have to run this every single time I want to do a new query. So while true, I'm just gonna grab a user input, and if the input is exit or quit, break out of it and close. Otherwise, this is the key function to do, which is to await the runner, and it's going to run using that agent and the user input. Once that's available, here I'm just, I just want the final answer, so I'm just gonna print out the final output, but uh, do know there's a little bit extra information in this uh, returned result uh, object. Okay, and then a simple main function just to run this. So if we test this out, hopefully it'll work. So how many records are in my database? There's one record. So this is the this is how you would set up a single MCP server attached to an OpenAI agent. Now, if you're like me, very quickly, you'll want to add more than one MCP server to an agent. 
And one way you could do this is you could nest these context managers and pass all the servers into one collective list. Uh, you could also submit these not as a context manager and kind of close them out individually. So I looked through the documentation and I couldn't find a single sort of multi MCP server uh, class to use. So what uh, I did was basically ask a number of AIs to help me build out a simple class that did this. So what we'll do here is we will create a MCP uh, server manager .py file. We're going to bring in uh, all these import statements. So here you can see I'm bringing in again that standard in out MCP server object, also the SSE and the streamable HTTP, but also the params object that uh, is available for each one. So when configuring the various MCP server types, uh, the parameters required for each of them is different. So part of having this MCP server manager class was to based on configuration kind of fork and create the appropriate parameters and the appropriate MCP server. So that's basically all this, this class is doing right, based on some configuration. And when implemented, actually, so what I'm gonna do here is create a main multi.py file and show you how to implement this. Okay, so here I'm importing that MCP manager and here, so scroll down here. So I wanted to use the same configuration that you would use for a lot of other tools, which is basically a dictionary with the name of the MCP server and then that configuration um, a dictionary. One thing that I added, which is kind, kind of unique to OpenAI's setup, right? So in their object initialization, you can pass in like allowed tools and you know whether you should cache the tool list. So I just added those as additional parameters to these uh, dictionaries. If they're not in there, it'll just ignore and just basically use all the available tools. Okay, so just using kind of the same configuration you would basically use for other systems and passing that into the MCP server manager. And it will create the list of all the available instances. And then that can be passed to an agent just like uh, we did before, right? One thing I did add to this multi was memory. So as described in OpenAI's documentation, they have um, session memory, which by default we use an SQL Lite database that spins up locally. So here, to spin it up, give it a, a name, and you will pass the session in with the run call. So runner run. So again, we have passing it the agent, the user input, and this time the session. Uh, which contains the, the, the memory. Now here, I've added a retry attempt uh, just in case it runs into an error because in previous testings, every once in a while, running the GitHub MCP server, it will uh, try try a call that doesn't always make sense. Like I'll ask, you know, what are my top repos? And instead of using the search me or the search repos API, sometimes it will call the issues tool. And then of course, it doesn't get a response back that it's expecting kind of error out. So just put in a simple retry wrapped. Uh, so if you don't want to this retry, custom retry thing, just run the runner.run. This is where this would go. I'm going to see if this agent is capable of using both the GitHub MCP server and the Neo4j MCP server in kind of a two, three step stage. So add my top three repos by stars to my Neo4j database. Uh, so this is where some verbosity and some logs might be good. Ah, so this is actually a good opportunity to show the tracing. So if I go to my tracing log and let me refresh this. So it should be this most recent. They did 10 tool calls. So here, uh, called list MCP tools twice, and then got Neo4j schema. So what I'm looking for is a call to GitHub because that's where the repo information is. And unless I'm missing it, I don't see that. So that might be why the agent failed. So let's see if I can see it. So what are my top three? 
Uh, see here, yeah, so you can see it's trying to call the issues tool. Top three repositories by stars. Okay. Yes, add those to my database. Hmm. If I go back to tracing. Refresh. So here, create our update file. Ah, okay. So what the agent is trying to do is instead of adding it to or calling the write Neo4j cipher tool, it's trying to update. Yeah, it's trying to update um, the repo itself, which is not what I want to do. Add that data to my Neo4j database using the write Neo4j cipher tool. This is a very explicit command. Has it now. Okay. Great, so that worked. So you can see your, your mileage will vary depending on how you're asking questions. And also the combination of MCP servers, I've noticed that, um, especially if tool names are very similar, but I've noticed that once I get really explicit, like, hey, use this server or use this tool, generally I get sort of the answers that I want. All right, so these are a couple of ways of getting started with OpenAI's Agent SDK paired with MCP servers. My name is Jason Koo. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.